Welcome to episode six. On this episode, we go to the Pinnacles and Lake Thetis, two must-see destinations in Western mm. Australia. Yeah, so this episode is quite short. We do have a long episode coming up of heaps of epic beach camps that we do, so keep an eye out for that one coming up. But in the meantime, enjoy, enjoy. this one. Enjoy. And if you like it, chuck a comment below, subscribe, like. Enjoy. 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 So we're going to go to the Pinnacles. We might stop at Lancelin Golf Course and just have a quick nine holes, have a bit of a hit. Hmm. Looks then, like a pretty good course. So we'll have a, have a hit there, then head up north. I just, as we were hitching up, there were a couple of things that I remember that we learnt in our towing course, and I just wanted to show the guys. So can you just grab this for a sec? I just want to, I'll go around the other side. Yeah, so there were just two things I thought was worth to show you. So one was when you're putting the handbrake, when you're taking the handbrake off, this would have been around here when it was up and when you take it off and put it down make sure that this bit you put back around here when you're driving and the reason because if it's here and you're driving along and this jiggles it might fall back into place just pop that around the other side to make that less likely that that will happen and the other thing is that this cord here is your breakaway controller so if the van disconnects from the car this will need to pull tight and this pin will pull out and that's what puts on the automatic brakes so make sure that this is not you know jumbled up anywhere so it's not going to actually pull out make sure it's quite clear of your other cords so that if that does happen it will get tight and then that will actually work a couple hopefully, of cool tips hopefully that never happens hopefully we never have to do that <laughs> that'd be a nightmare all right, let's go. So we're going to do dinner. Is that what yeah. we're paying for? Double or nothing because you still owe me. Okay. Double or nothing. All I'm right, sure yeah. I've made you dinner since then, but. Yeah. First hole, hardest hole, mate. All right. It's a tough one for me, into the breeze. That's look tough. Index 13 for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ace on the last hole. What did you get on the last hole, buddy? And what was that? What were you calling it before, though? Yeah, he's like, wasn't that a beauty, Mum? Wasn't it a beauty? And then I, it finally clicked to me that he was saying birdie. I'm like, keep calling it beauty, mate. That's so cute. Ah, right, right at it. Ah! <laughs> Great, you know. Good three. Got the chockies. Yeah, I'll be cooking dinner tonight. Yep. We're just stopping here at Wanagaran Nature Reserve because out here it looks like Dr. Zeus, you know, the Lorax, where they've got all of those, what are they called? A speed? Sleeth? No idea. Speed? Oh, I don't know. I'll put it up. But these trees, right? these oh I think it's a sneed a sneed maybe something like that anyway those trees look like them There would be not that many. I mean, there's thousands. This is probably very ad lib. Well, didn't you read? Yeah, I read back there, but this is my interpretation of it. Is that all of the shells, the seashells, like broke down 
out at sea and then came up onto the sand mm -hmm. and so then you had like two different types of sand there and then as the winds pushed all of the sand to the land when sand to, the land. to sand make to the, the sand dunes when it rains the other type of sand will just like kind of fall away and that that shell the acid or something in the rain turns it into like cement limestone mm, cement limestone <laughs> yeah oh. like cements it into limestone I don't know. <laughs> that could be way off but that was my interpretation <laughs> of reading the signs out there yeah, and what did you hear could be a geologist yeah <laughs> totally okay. oh no i didn't really read it i just went straight through the information center so yeah we're gonna have to google we will it did say though that there, it wasn't definitive yeah. that there was just these theory, different scientific theories so they're not sure and we're definitely not yeah sure. i've got my i've got my own interpretation of one of these not sure theories so could be way off I reckon this would be the ultimate hide and seek playground. Or like a paintball. Yeah. Paintball awesome. would be good. So many good can hiding spots. Yeah. Can, can we find him? Oh, there he is. Where is he? Uh, is he around here? Geez, don't put that in his mind. There he is. <laughs> <you are. laughs> so the plan for us is to hang around here. Because look at that sky. We are thinking that there is potential that this is going to be a cracking sunset. Look at the sun coming through over there. The only issue is at the bottom, is that cloud too thick for the sun to break through there? I'm just going to ask our professional sunset break on through to the other side. Photographer here. Mm, what do you reckon? It's, li it's lime ball. Line ball, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit, bit worrying. Danny is off to see what other photos he can get us and to scope out. He says a good vantage point for sunset in case this cracking sky lights up. And the kids and I are going to go sit up here at the lookout for a bit because we're tired. <laughs> we've had and we're going to wait. Day. We've had a big day. Yesterday we went to the sand dunes, so my muscles are all aching. And Today we've done about three walks. And I yeah. also had a big stack when I I had a big stack. I had a bruise when we were sliding down the sand dunes. Sand dunes. Yeah, I used to did a front flip. Oh, I bet the kids all at home who are at school are like really feeling sorry for you guys. <laughs> huh? What do you reckon? It's like a unicorn sky. Yeah. Like with that white cloud there in the distance and then the purple and pink and magenta in the sky. Didn't end up with a good sunset. We've actually been surrounded by storm clouds instead. So the clouds just got too dark and heavy. I'll show you what it looks like around us. Storm clouds and more storm clouds. Oh, good. <laughs> well, let's go before we get wet. But they do look pretty cool here, anyway. Yeah. Going to Lake Betis to see some stromatolites. What are they? Which are just these massive oh, coral things that look like a bit of a crater, but mini crater things. We'll see in a second what they look like, eh? Hey? To be found.
keep an eye out for the next episode, which is all about beach camping. Yeah, and we did an episode just before about the cost of travelling Australia. So if that's yeah. something that you've been interested in, check that video out. It's got some useful information in it. Cheers, guys. Check it out. Bye.